We're joined now by Ray's second baseman, Brandon Lau. Let me be clear for the folks at home. He's not out here trying to risk it all by driving and talking to Sports Center. He's actually parked on the tarmac because the Rays are about to fly off. But thank you so much for joining us, Brandon. 13 straight wins after rallying to beat the Red Sox today. How's your team viewing this historic start? Yeah, I mean, I think we're just we're just having fun. I don't think anybody's caught up in the numbers right now. We are strictly just showing up each day. You know, we understand what we're doing. We, it's not lost on anybody, the historic uh, impacts of it all, but you know, we're showing up to the ballpark each day, just understanding that, you know, today's a new day. It's a different game and uh, don't focus on anything else but today. Certainly, I'd hope you're not feeling any pressure to win 162 straight games. It doesn't feel like a thing. But this is not a rags-to-riches story, Brandon. The Rays have been to the postseason four straight years. How, then, is this team differentiating itself early on? Honestly, it, it feels just like the same team. I think this is, like, the first time that we haven't had a really large turnover of players in, in the lineup and, and on the roster. And so everybody's already comfortable with each other. Certainly being healthy plays into that. And I know last year, Brandon, you were dealing with injuries and your stats reflected that you've already hit five home runs this year. How would you assess where you are physically at this point? I, I mean, I feel great. That's, uh, that's pretty much all I can say about it. You know, it's going through the injuries last year. It sucked. It was one of the worst times to, to be injured. But, you know, I got to understand and learn a little bit more of the game. You know, I got to sit back as a third party and and – not have any uh, any worries about getting out or striking out or anything like that. So I got to learn more about myself and more about you know what I should be doing at the plate. And you know I got to to be a part of the the pregnancy journey with my wife. So you know it's all things really happen for a reason. And you know I'm glad to glad to have shown up healthy now. I hear that the winning pitcher gets a shot of tequila, and I'm just wondering, Brandon, why the hitters are not involved in that ritual. <laughs> uh, hitters are. We, uh, we, we uh, name a team MVP on both sides of the ball. So we have a pitcher MVP and a, and a position player MVP. I had to uh, up, up the tequila game a little bit. Who, who, uh, who got it today? Day. Who got it today for you on the hitter side? Harold. Okay. Harold, Harold got it for us without a doubt. There's no question in my mind for that one. I think that sounds like a great maybe addition to the All-Star exhibition. Take a couple shots, see how hard you can hit it. How many times have you gotten it, by the way, with your five home runs? I, I think I've only gotten it once. Okay. Uh, the home run to, to go ahead one nothing. That was the, the only day that I've gotten it. And I am more than okay with having to share that love, you know, <laughs> as long as we keep hitting the way we are. <laughs> love that. And, and lastly, Brandon, before we let you go, listen, it's well documented. There have been some challenges with fan attendance. But today, a day game at the Trop, and it was half filled. Are you hopeful that we could see a, a, a non-opening day sellout happen there in Tampa? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's something that did surprise us a little bit. You know, we walked out there and heard 22,000 or 20 plus thousand fans. We're like, wow, this is this is really cool. And sure enough, in the seventh or eighth inning, you know, we're we're up by a lot. The fans are still in it. And it was an incredible environment to be in. It was uh, their games are a little a lot more fun when there's there's people rooting for you. Absolutely. Well, maybe at the next sellout, we'll do like a fan night and everyone gets a tequila shot. That sounds like something that we could sell, yeah. right? Brandon, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Brandon Lau joining us there from the tarmac. Thanks so much for joining Sports Center and good luck. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.